Did you guys see the back and forth between Wack and True Car? We did. Yeah, we did a room on that too. What did, What do y'all thought? So first off, here's my thing on that. No, I think that beef was fake as shit. Bullshit. I definitely I think, think it's it a was rollout. staged. I think it was a rollout. It's a rollout. Yo, listen, bro. I knew some shit was off when a nigga got his other artist to spit a hot sixteen towards the other nigga. I, I said, "Come on, bro. This shit is so." <laughs> but don't act like we ain't seen that before, man. though. We seen nah, that before. Nah, bro. That, listen, yo, Wack is too thorough for that, bro. Right? Well, my thing yeah, is, Wack like, is too OG for that. Is this what it's coming to? And my thing is, I know this happens, but maybe this is a little bit too early in his career to start doing this shit, True Car. So for what what reason do you guys think that they would need to fake a beef? A rollout. Yeah, easy. It's just something to, you know, keep people talking. Wack 100 he, dropped I mean, my album at the beginning yeah, of the month. Come he on, dropped man. a single cover the next day with Come him on. and Mozzie from the block. Come on. So... It was it was proven. Look, we did a room about it. We tried to get them come in there. Uh, True Car ex manager came in there. Yeah. Uh, good guy from Bounty Hunters. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he was just talking about how he was there from the beginning with True Car. Uh, actually, that outside record was recorded while he was his manager. Mm -hmm. He went to jail, came back home. Uh, he got with whack. No love lost. You know, he felt like he basically confirmed that True Car is not from Bounty Hunters. He's not from Niggas and Gardens, but. Oh, you know I don't know what, what that is. That's what it was. I mean, that's what went down in the room. That's what was said. So it turned into that. Like I said, <laughs> turned into that. We tried to get Wack coming in. I guess True Car ended up coming on Clubhouse later, talking about it. They had a little fake back and forth. I just, I mean, a lot of people on there agreed that, you know, that shit was fake. Who that had a for the back artists. and forth Wack and True Car? Yeah, I think they had a back and forth in one of the yeah. rooms. Mm. Yo, bro, there was that kid to this shit. Because a nigga said, I pull it out, and you ain't come outside. Come Man, on, he but, put a little fear in my heart when they, I said, he said, check your cameras. Yeah, but. Come on, man. Yo, that right there just goes to this show. This is good acting, one-on-one. -on -one. Yo, it goes I, to show exactly like where what, things are currently, man. Okay, man. So, so although you both, well, we all think that it's a rollout. For sure. Fake, yes. If it is real, hey, what this, do you think stem this? This the crazy part that had me thinking it wasn't fake. Mm -hmm. They tagged Top Dog. Hmm? You didn't see the post? Yeah, I did see that. I didn't understand why did they tag Top, Top Dog. He said he said I'm supposed to be with you. He said I'd rather be with like he said something like I'd rather like be with Top Dog. Like he's supposed to be with TDE. Yeah. And Top Dog commented, "Let's go." I'm like, "Oh yeah, they ain't playing. They nah, playing." Nah, bro, that's roll out. They all in cahoots. Okay, that's but roll -out shit. we see Top Dog is is pretty much player. Yeah, we don't really see him chiming into shit. I don't, I don't know, man. They playing with Top Dog. If it was <laughs> fake, would Top Dog get in on some bullshit like that? Yeah, I mean, you know, they cool. Think, they cool. They cool. Yeah. They cool. They got just, a good relationship. I just can't see Top Dog. Yeah. And then that's why I asked, why I asked, uh, well, you know, Schoolboy Q be in our room, his brother, uh, Smack. Smack. So he was, I asked him, I'm like, so is True Car signed to TDE or what? He's like, nah. He said, that shit fake. So he even confirmed it. You know? So does that make you think less of Wack 100 that he would fix some shit like this? Nah, I mean, I expect it. I mean, look at him. He's one of the most. Entertaining individuals right now, but you how know? bad is it? It's not like they just faking a whole like beef situation. Like if it's a rollout, mm -hmm. if I if mean, niggas is beefing with Wack, it's whoever Wack is beefing with. People gonna look at him. I guess he want people to pay more attention to his music, and this is the way. Yeah, to I don't get know. people attention. I guess. Yo, Wack's so entertaining. I feel like it's too early on though. He should just drop music, of drop course. music, keep dropping music, build that fan base, do the videos, drop me, do these interviews. Yeah. A I'm large about the marketing. A large percentage <laughs> of my perspective is that this is definitely a rollout. Of course. But then at the same time, it's just like, who the fuck? Why? Hmm. Here, here's why. Wack, first off, yo, Clubhouse changed the game for niggas, yo. <laughs> Wack 100 became a Clubhouse, uh, no, sorry, a national phenomenon. For sure. Bro, Wack 100 became so big just off of just sitting on Clubhouse and, you know, and, and like doing our paperwork parties. Yeah. That, yo, even the game is doing interviews now faking like he crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yo, bro, listen, yo, when I see the I game doing lie. interviews talking about I'm the greatest of all time, I said, like, come on, bro. Like, listen, listen. You supposed to believe you the greatest come of on, all man. time. Come on, man. That's the Wack 100 strategy he's but doing. But that's what I'm talking about. When they do them interviews, right, yeah. the bloggers take anything he says and puts it as a title. It's like all his titles. Look at his last titles the last two, three months. 
they have been nothing worthy of this really man posting. Said, nah, nah, this that nigga saying he that talking shit. talking crazy. This you man said, me, but it's not even. Cool. I could be a billionaire if I wanted to. I just chose but not to. I said, like, come on, bro. Like, come on. Why are we making this a title though? At the end of the day, <laughs> yeah, it's the wax strategy, bro. Come He's on, playing bro. crazy in his interviews, man. Be, come on, man. Hey. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe. We just hit 200K. We're trying to get to 300K. Turn us up. Appreciate y'all. Let's go.